Good work, Descendant. The Colossus was stronger than average, and you still achieved a resounding victory. However, as long as the dimensional wall remains open, the invasion of the Colossi will never end. Until the dimensional wall is closed, humankind will have no choice but to live with the fear of the Colossi. Descendant, securing the Iron Hearth and closing the dimensional wall, it isn't just to defeat the Vulgus. If we cannot stop the invasion of Ingress by the Colossi, there will be no hope for humanity. Remember your calling. I will focus more attention on monitoring the Void Dimension. That was a job well done, Descendant. While you were intercepting the Colossus, the Guide gave Enzo some important intel. It concerns the next operation, so head back to HQ once you're ready. The success of this operation will lead us to victory. Descendant, using the Ancestor's data, the Guide claims to have discovered a zone where an Ironheart has been excavated. After undergoing emergency restoration protocols at that location, the Guide should be able to track the Ironheart. The problem is, the Ironheart excavation site is near a Vulgus munitions factory. It's a weapons production site where Cyborg Vulgus, the Legion of Immortality, are manufactured. Sharon and the Colon Special Forces along with Jeremy have been deployed there as the front line, and a bridgehead has been secured. I've assigned you to this operation as well. Sharon has exceptional infiltration skills, but I need someone who can lead the battle. Your mission is to infiltrate the Ironheart excavation site and restore the Guide's system. I still have my doubts about the Guide. Even for this operation, I'm sending you into the lion's den on the strength of her words. But, after witnessing the intercept battle, I've made up my mind. We must find the Ironheart and close the dimensional wall as soon as possible. Failure to do so would leave the remnants of humankind to be trampled by the Colossi, even if we win the war against the Vulgus. So... I have decided to put my trust in the strategic value of the Guide. For now. Descendant, I leave this operation in your hands. The fate of humanity rests on your shoulders. Welcome to the Marshall's Lab.
Welcome. You're here for modules, right?
What do you want? You're here. Welcome to the Vulgus Munitions Factory. You've made quite the impression at Kingston. So much so, I was tempted to recruit you for Colon. But then again, the enemy isn't exactly a pushover. However, now that we have the guide as a strategic asset, I'm sure the trajectory of this war will change drastically. Shall we get started? Based on the coordinates provided by the guide, the Ironheart excavation site is near the enemy's industrial zone. Unfortunately, the exact location needs to be confirmed in person. The coordinates are based on data from the time of the ancestors, and there's a high probability that the topography today will look a little different. I'll do recon around the industrial zone. While I'm doing that, your mission is to create a diversion to draw the enemy's eyes away from me. Even though I have active camouflage, things will be much easier if you can hold the enemy's attention. I'll tell Jeremy to stay behind and provide operational support. Jeremy seems to be unable to link with the guide, so he won't be much use in finding the excavation site. He'll be better deployed using his RK teleportation abilities as support for your diversion operation. Let's get moving. We need to restore the guide system as soon as possible. What, me? Support? For crying out loud! to the point. Guide, guide, guide. That's all everybody talks about these days. Since when did the higher ups at Albion conduct operations based on the word of a spirit? Not to mention, excluding an excellent descendant like myself from this operation, Everything's clearly going very well. Hey, you think it's funny I can't link with the guide? All right then, let's consider which descendants aren't able to link with the guide right now. Let's see. It's only me and Alpha, yes? Looks to me like the commander of Albion and the strongest descendant are the only ones who are still sane. If I were you, I think carefully about why you've been designated as a bait, and I'm going to do things my way. Don't even think about tagging along. Huh. Do you really think you can even attempt to follow me? With my RK abilities? <laughs>
level boulders closing in. We can prove it's a new Kyber enhanced variant. Huh. It's built from the same material as the one we're after. Make a note in the operations log, number 17. Thanks to the enemies being drawn your way, infiltration is going smoothly. Good job. Operations log number 17. Thanks to the enemies being drawn your way, infiltration is going smoothly. Good job. Deception transmitter at the Volgus base is operational. Descendant, you need to protect the transmitter while it is operating. If the diversion works, we can detain a number of enemies here.
Mission request from Koval and Special Forces Agent Number 17. Objective: Secure a Volga sample. We need a Volga sample to study the recent technological improvements to Legion of Immortality units. This mission is also part of the diversion tactics. Receiving info on Mark. Position of Volga's power plant confirmed. Mission request. Destruction of generators as a faint attack.
reload. I heard Captain Harris let you in on a fun trick. Certain Legion of Immortality units have parts that can act as fuses. We can use those.
transmitting to all Allied forces deployed to this operation. We have an urgent development, requesting backup. Number 17 has received details. All units are to head to the mining outpost. Number 17, Colon Special Forces, at your service. Descendant, we have an urgent report on Sharon. Her current position is near the Volgus Munitions Factory. Thanks to her diversionary tactics, she was able to reach the target safely, but the Volgas have appeared. This is the sit rep recorded by Sharon's AC. Operating Arctic tracking matrix. Cabo retrospective active camouflage detected. Probability of zone infiltration high. Iron Heart excavation site status. Quarantine at the highest level of security. Terminate the descendant on site. Terminate. This cyborg Volgus, Edelic, is a commando level model specializing in defense missions. It's armed with arcade tracking functions. And it seems the Volgus already know about the Arnhardt excavation site. I was told that the Ancestor's data was tightly guarded at Kingston. If the Volgus have gained access to it, however, then this rigorous level of security makes sense. For the moment, Sharon has requested an attack on the repository's core facility to lure the Volgus commander. Once the Volgus have vacated the factory, she intends to try and infiltrate it again. Descendant, you and Jeremy are to launch an attack on the repository. Are you sure this guide can be trusted? Didn't you guys win at Kingston? <laughs> Focus on the mission, Jeremy. Descendant. I am at a loss for words. The Ancestor's data that the Volgus obtained in Kingston was formatted in such a way that it could not be fully viewed until all of the data packets were combined. The Volgus managed to transmit around 90% of the data. Defeating their commander prevented them from transmitting the remaining 10%. But they were able to reconstruct the missing 10% themselves and read all of the data. How was that? Possible. I need to analyze this. Descendant, you need to continue your search for the Arnhardt excavation site. If the Volgas enter it first, they may destroy the entire site after they find what they want. We must hurry. How pathetic. A full operation for such a minor target? Guess the Colon Special Forces aren't that special after all. I've sent you a more appropriate mark, so you can show me what you can really do with those highfalutin skills of yours. Get it together, come on!
All storage tanks disabled. Mission relay terminated.
Mission accomplished, Descendant. of the temporary outpost, requesting all units to regroup at the designated location. Officially beginning in...
Deactivating active camouflage. I'm alive, thanks to you. And you even found time to attack the Volga's Kuiper facility. I've really gotta hand it to you. Oh yeah, how did I manage to get the slip on Ederlich? He retreated as soon as the battle at the mining site was over and headed toward a facility. It looked like he'd planned to do so from the beginning. Reload! I wondered what he was up to, but he actually did us a favor in the end. I think the Ironheart excavation site is underneath that facility. A pretty hastily built structure? Check. Multiple security devices guarding the entrance? Check. Commander level Vulgus disappearing inside? You can see how it all adds up, right? I need to assign missions to all operatives to shut down the facility's multiple security devices. It'll require specific procedures, but I've had experience in dismantling many of these types of devices. Let's move. We need to get in there before the Vulgas can do anything to the excavation site. I have to admit, not even my RK can penetrate the quantum barrier of these security devices. Those rust buckets have put some thought into this.
been reduced. Two generators remaining. Concentrate defensive forces at our facility. Send high-level firepower units. The descendant must be stopped. Execute them. Power has been deactivated. Security system compromised. Tactical target achieved. Terminating mission relay. That's the Volga's barracks, which I was assigned to take out. They said if we didn't destroy their base, it would allow them to counterattack or something. But what a shame. I have no more rounds. Why don't you finish up for me? What? It was kind of boring, to be honest. I've destroyed the main passages. You only have to deal with the remaining troops. And hey, Kolalaki, why don't you go ahead and send the operational relay we can get there as well? Oh, and make sure it's credit for it. You <laughs> Enforcements detected. Internal facilities destroyed by terror.
reinforcements closing in. This is more than we expected. Without the advanced attack to reduce their forces, we will be surrounded by them. Loading. authentication sequence used by the Legion of Immortality.
is as good as secured. Good job. This is Sharon. All Volga security levels have been successfully deactivated. All units regroup at my position to investigate the Ironheart excavation site. Regroup? Huh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I think I'll sit this one out, Sharon. What did you say? to the point. It seems as if all of you have forgotten, so I'll repeat myself one more time, since they're here too. It looks like it'll be a guide-related mission from this point on, which means I can't have anything to do with it, right? You're the one who told me I should be in a supporting role, Sharon. Yeah? Since I can't connect to the guy. Report that to HQ however you like. It's not like they have a cell that can hold me, do they? <laughs> oh, pff, nah. Maybe I will sit in a cell and get some rest. It's been a while. Last time I was there, it was really fun. I'm not sure who blabbed about my secret operation, but had it been carried out, not only would we have the Iron Heart, but Corel's heart as well. I guess that's just my little walk down memory lane. Have fun with your imaginary friend. Peace. Sharon, give me the order and I will track him. Let him be. Jeremy's RK ability is teleportation. We have no way of catching him. Although it was not my intention, there seems to be a misunderstanding with Jeremy. I do not choose who I am linked with. The process follows strict directives woven into RK by the ancestors. I have no knowledge of the details of these directives, nor am I capable of ignoring them. If I were able to alter those directives, would I have been able to resolve this misunderstanding with Jeremy? Could I ease Alpha's suspicions? The human mind is difficult to comprehend. It feels like a mass of powerful energy surrounded by a resilient defense mechanism. Almost like an iron heart. I apologize for occupying your time before an important operation. I will focus on the emergency restoration protocol and remain on standby. I hope I can bring results that reflect the level of effort you have put into this operation. You'll need to leave first, Descendant. Sharon's prosthesis has been damaged from excessive RK use. We'll join you as soon as we can. Don't worry. You've seen what they're capable of. I hope these repairs can be done quickly. Data. As you must know, 
The Iron Hearts are mysterious entities that somehow made their way to Ingress. They were first discovered by the Architects. The Iron Hearts were passed down to the Ancestors, my creators and the forebears of the Descendants. They don't know why the Ancestors hid all the Iron Hearts. But this much is certain. I was created in order to lead you to them. After that, well, the one is left is behind you and I die. Loaded! energy flow nearby. These are traces of Ironheart excavation. Ironheart microparticles confirmed. Initiating emergency restoration protocols to repair damaged systems. Descendant. We have retrieved Ironheart elements from the excavation site. Next, I must... Oh no. This place is just an excavation site. I must continue the quantum a data processor belonging to the ancestors. This device contains my restoration data, which can be copied using Ironheart microparticles. I can guide you there. However, to access the quantum monolith descendant, I must undergo authentication here first. I should still have access, as it was my system and memories that were damaged. Please keep the bodies at bay while the authentication is in progress. Procedures. Descendant, passageways are being blocked across the facility. I'll do my best to find a way out, but it won't be easy to maneuver. Please be careful. Site. There must have been countless experiments conducted here using the Iron Hearts. Emergency restoration protocols would have been one of them. <laughs> 